Hey everyone, ever wondered how to handle massive data sets in Appian without compromising speed or performance? Today, we're diving into a game-changing strategy, dumping millions of rows into Appian's database and syncing them for smooth performance on the front end. This tutorial is going to break it down into three simple steps. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at managing huge data loads in Appian. Before you can dump data into Appian, you need to decide on your source, either CSV or Excel. Each has its own pros and cons, so let's break them down. CSV files are amazing for handling large amounts of data. Millions of rows can be imported in just seconds. Plus, the column order doesn't really matter, making it super flexible. However, the delimiter, usually a comma, cannot appear in any of your data fields. Also, keep an eye on header names. Appian has a limit of 27 characters and headers can't contain spaces. If you miss these, you'll face unnecessary complexity when setting up your database. Use the CSV to database smart service. Just a few required fields and you're good to go. Check out the fields displayed on screen now. Excel files give you more control over column selection. You can choose only the columns you need and it allows flexible header names and column sequences. But here's the catch. Managing large data sets with Excel can be tricky. Appian has a 1 MB data limit when storing data in a variable, so you'll need to batch read your data when dealing with massive files. If you are working with smaller files, like 5,000 to 10,000 rows and 70 columns, you can pull the entire data set at once using the function I'm showing on screen. For larger files, batching is the key and we'll cover that later in this video. If you're using CSV, it's smooth sailing from here. Just dump the data straight into your database using the CSV to database smart service. For Excel users, once you've got the data in an Appian variable, don't manipulate it in Appian. Instead, push it immediately into a database table. Trying to handle massive data sets within Appian can slow everything down, leading to major headaches later, especially in production. If your Excel file doesn't contain any date fields, you can take advantage of the Import Excel to Database smart service to directly load the data into the database. However, there are a few limitations to be aware of, which we'll cover in detail in a separate video. Pro tip, create a stored procedure to manage your data with only essential parameters like batch ID, submitted by and submitted on. Don't forget to initialize the updated on field in main transaction table using submitted on. This is critical for future updates and I'll explain why in the final part of the video. Now, your data is in the database, but it won't show up in Appian's sync records automatically. No worries, I've got you covered. To sync all your records, start by retrieving the updated record IDs from the database using a data store entity or any other method. Break them into batches of 1000 to avoid overloading the system. You can create expression rules similar to what's shown on the screen. Then send those batches through the sync record smart service and continue looping until every row is synced. Now, here's a common roadblock. If you iterate more than 1000 times, Appian may block the process. To prevent this, check the box that says delete previously completed cancelled instances in the node settings. I'm showing you this step on screen right now. Make sure to enable it. If your Excel file exceeds 1 MB, you'll need to batch read the data. Here's how. First, get a total row count by parsing a unique column, then loop through the file and pull a specific number of rows in each batch. Dump each batch into a temporary table until you've collected all the data. After that, run your stored procedure to push the data into your transaction table. Finally, use the same sync records process to sync everything. And that's it. With these simple steps, you can handle millions of rows in Appian without breaking a sweat. From choosing your data source to syncing records, you now have the tools to streamline the process and keep your app running smoothly. Have questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Appian Insights. Thanks for watching and see you next time.